Hi guys, welcome. Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, use the AWS command line uh, interface and we are going to fetch some data from uh, DynamoDB. So this is a basic video on how to uh, install AWS command line interface. So first thing you need to do is uh, go to this uh, website, AWS amazon.com slash cli so here you can see other options windows download and run 64-bit windows install so using this link uh, you are able to install it so once you have that done so go here and write aws help So if you're seeing a lot of options and description, so that means uh, the command line tool is installed. Press Q to exit. So first thing is to configure uh, your AWS uh, CLI to your account. So for that, we have a command like AWS configure. Okay. So once you type that, it will prompt for uh, client ID and secret code. Okay. So I'm not going to show it now because I've already done that. And client ID and client secret are, uh, it's like you cannot share it with anyone. So people will get access to your account. So now I have, I let me show you the console. So here you can see I have uh, two tables, AWS log and task. So I can get the data from these two tables using the command line interface. So if you want to see the commands, there are, there's a link here, CLI reference. So you can go to DynamoDB here and here you have the list of available commands. So let's see get item. So first simple command is describe table. So it will just show you whether uh, your table is available or not. So the command is AWS DynamoDB describe hyphen table double hyphen table hyphen name and the table name. Okay. So using this, you'll get the details of the table you have in your account. So the table has to be present. Okay, so there is a command to create a table using the command line interface, like create table. So why don't we do that? Okay, let's do that. Let's create a table. So here is the syntax, create table, double hyphen, attribute hyphen details, and then the value table name, key schema. Okay, so you have to provide all these details. First, let create it from here. Table name, topic, details. Okay, primary key. Okay, let's say topic ID. Make it sync to so that you can use alphanumeric. Okay, simple create. The table is being created. Topic details. Let's use the command line to see what's happening here.
okay so i misspelled it so it says no not found exactly requested it resource it's not found by start okay Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's put on description. So I have added a record to this table. Let's see whether we are able to retrieve it from here. Still not found. Okay, let's correct the case. Yeah, so as you can see, it's case sensitive. So make sure you put the proper case. That's all for now. Uh, there are a lot of other videos in the playlist. Thanks for watching.